Learn how to zip from one place to another place by teleporting with portals! Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I'm your host, OMG Chad. This is a show that will teach you how to become a Minecraft expert in no time. Today, we're going to be talking about portals. No, not like Valve and stupid like, are you still there? No, a different game. These are normal Minecraft portals, things that you can do in vanilla without any modifications to Minecraft. The portals that take you to the nether and take you to the end. Let's learn. So here we are in a little single player world to show off portals. What you've probably thought of as portals is ender portals. And I'm here, sorry, nether portals. <laughs> and I'm here in creative mode to show off what that looks like. Here's what a simple portal looks like. Then once you put some fire in the middle, it will create a portal to the nether. Now, what a lot of people don't realize, most people actually do, is that you don't need these corner pieces right here. So this contraption will be perfect to get to the nether. If you want to break it, you can either put some liquid into the portal and it will break through, or you can break one of the obsidian around the edges. Now, portal sizes have changed. Here is the smallest size that it can be, which is what we just created, two by three portal blocks, or four by five obsidian blocks. That'll create a thing. Animals will go through portals, as well as arrows or ender pearls. Um, most entities will be able to transfer through portals. Now, here is the largest portal you can make. Remember, you don't need these edges, but I have cre kept them uh, for right here. This is 23 by 23 obsidian, or 21 by 21 portal blocks. Isn't that awesome? Uh, so that is the largest portal frame that you can create. Now, in the nether, things act differently. So we have two portals up here. One is encased in green wool, and one is encased in red wool. And this is to show off uh, the travel distance between blocks in the nether. So we're gonna go through this one. Woohoo! A little fun fact is that if you're in creative mode, oh, here's the cow from before. Uh, if you're in creative mode, uh, portal transfer is instantaneous. Uh, you don't have to wait around for the nausea effect to work itself out. So here, while we're in the nether, every one block that we move inside of the nether is actually eight blocks on the surface. Do you remember that red portal and the green portal and how far away they were? Well, this is the same distance, one-eighth of the distance, um, and if I go through here, you'll see, oh, <laughs> go away, go away, big portal, you're screwing up all the things, here, let's get rid of this one, too, get me out of here, <laughs> okay, so, we're gonna go through the green portal again, and then go through, woo! Now we're next to the green portal. Hey, cow! Hey, deja vu. Let's go through the red portal. And just like magic, we are next to the red portal with the green portal way over there. So that gives you an idea of the distance between the overworld, which we're in now, and the netherworld, which we are in currently. You can see that it is much easier to traverse the two planes. Now that's not the only type of portals that are in Minecraft. To see the next type of portal, you need to find the end portal. And you can do that with an Eye of Ender, which is some blaze powder, which you get by crafting blaze rods in just a normal crafting square. And you get blaze powder, mix that with an uh, Ender Pearl, and you get this, the Eye of Ender. And when you throw it out, it will aim in the direction of the end portal until you get right next to it and it will go down below into uh, where it is. Now you don't have to be in creative mode. I happen to be in creative mode, but that means that the portal, that the, uh, actually that the, uh, 
the, that the structure that houses the portal is right under where that uh, fell through. Now, I happen to have created a shaft right here all the way down. You can see doo -doo -doo, that this is the actual end portal, but the... Uh, the eye actually went towards the center of this entire structure. So sometimes the eye will not give you uh, directions directly to the portal. And be careful, there are silverfish spawners and silverfish in the walls. Once you're here, you'll activate it by putting these eyes of Ender into the extra empty slots around the edges of the, this portal. And now you can see, ooh, isn't that such a cool, it looks like there's little like minnows or something in there. You'll jump in, chow, and then you will be in the end. And there is still one more portal, but in order to get it, we have to fight this dragon here. Get out of here, get out of here. We have to kill the dragon, and once you kill the dragon, there will be another end portal, which has the dragon egg on top of it. Now that portal will take you back to the overworld, and it won't drop you off at uh, the same place. Here, we can actually do, uh, one second, game rule, keep inventory true, there we go. So if we fall down into void, we will kill ourselves, even in creative mode. And that will allow us to respawn, and this will respawn us at the world spawn, or at the last place that you had slept. And that is how portals work. <gasps> and there you go. That is a little bit of an explanation on portals in Minecraft. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, you should just unsubscribe now. No, <laughs> kidding. Please stay subscribed. And if you wanna catch future episodes, make sure you subscribe at youtube.com slash omgcraft. Leave a like and a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this episode. Did you learn something new? If you didn't, unsubscribe. I'm really telling you, man, there's nothing more. We don't got anything else. I'm sorry. <sighs> See you next time on OMG Craft. Bye.